All right, happy Friday, everybody. Jordan Trask here, and we're on day three of my 25 days of Christmas. And if you haven't seen my previous two videos, basically what I'm doing is taking a random business or industry and coming up with a creative way to promote uh, the business or market the brand during the holiday season or leading up to Christmas. So today's choice was golf equipment. And this was kind of difficult just sitting here initially thinking before I just you know pop on live um, because not a lot of people are really thinking about golfing right now in most parts of the country. I mean, if you're if you're on vacation, uh, you know, in the southern areas, uh, Florida or something, or Arizona where I'm from, you know, you're probably you're probably gonna stumble into a golf shop. Uh, you probably maybe even might go golfing. Somebody's gonna talk you into it while you're in town. And I know personally, I live there, down in Phoenix. And, uh, you know, I actually used to work for a rental, uh, enterprise rental car coming out of college and, uh, tons of people come in town to go golfing. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that many people come in town just to golf, but they do. Um, so I, I want to really focus my campaign. I'm going to pretend at least that it's a local business. Uh, it's down in Arizona, down in Phoenix. Um, that's trying to get people's attention that are coming in, into town, into market, if you will, potentially on vacation. Um, and really, I think when, when it comes to golf equipment and stuff, I mean, you can buy this stuff anywhere. I mean, if you have a go-to shop, if you have a, a dealer and we'll assume that this is a mom and pop shop, you know, what's really valuable is, is your ability to remarket people because if you have avid golfers that are going to buy something in your store, most cases they're going to continuously need something, whether they're traveling or not, or maybe they come back in town, you're able to kind of retarget them or just say, Hey. Uh, with some offers or just some announcements stuff that stay in, that keep you uh, in front of them um so i bring that up because you know you may think that it would be stupid to to build a holiday campaign around something uh, when it could be a potential one-time customer that's just coming in town or on vacation in phoenix arizona during the holidays but your ability to constantly get in front of them and have them potentially buy stuff down the road or order stuff from your online stores is really high so um they're in town they're golfing um, what I would want to focus on, I guess, just initially thinking through this is something in store people, you know, there's sales deals, you know, buy this, buy this all over the place during the holidays. And I think you go into a golf store, you're thinking of a guy or gal that's going golfing is a little bit more of a solitude, right? A little bit more of a peaceful environment, maybe not as many people selling you, not as many psychotic shoppers pushing people around, um, you know, stressing you out when you're just trying to have a good afternoon. Um, and so what what would grab somebody's attention in there? Not a booth, not, not a salesperson, not uh, a, you know, sorry, my wife keeps texting me here. Hopefully it's not urgent. Um, you know, not, not a salesman in somebody's face. You're going to want something that kind of speaks to somebody. And if I'm, if I'm in town um, and I'm golfing, and there's this special, especially me, I'm, I'm not an avid golfer, I suck at golfing. If you go golfing with me, I'd probably really irritate you. Um, but if I saw something like some free clubs or something like that, sign up, I think um, that would catch my attention. I might do that. I'm not really a person that would give my information, but uh, if I was in the, that position, I might, it might be something that would interest me. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this as the foundation because I think most people would give their information uh, to try to get something for free, especially during the holidays. I personally wouldn't, but that would also catch my attention. So I'm walking in the shop. I would say, let's call this campaign a uh, stocking stuffers, right? Let's do this where we have um, three or four, let's have three or four golf bags up on display that are maybe up on the top right when you walk in to have all this stuff stuffed in them, just like a fruit basket would, you know, maybe some saran wrap around it. You know, maybe some gloves, some golf balls, some tees, uh, maybe it's a polo, a visor, uh, some tickets to something, all kinds of stuff. You know, it's a raffle. Maybe we'll, we'll make this a raffle. Um, uh, and, you know, have as many as many things in there that people can kind of see, but not really. But you're, you're grabbing their attention right at the beginning. You're saying, hey, give me your information, sign up for this, or uh, let's do a raffle. Let's, let's scratch all that because I'm not really... It's that person that likes to push the whole spammy stuff um, to get people's information. So let's do a raffle. People come in, you walk in the door, you're buying something, you could pay 20 bucks, you can enter the raffle to win one of these four amazing golf bags. They're all different brands with stuff with different things brought to you by the owner of Putt Putt R Us. I don't know. And 
um, uh, if you if you play the course, maybe there's a couple recommended courses that are right around in town, and you pit play 18 holes. So you play, I think that's two courses. If it's not, let's do 36 holes, and you get another entry. Um, and maybe you spend a hundred dollars in the store that day, or 150, and you get another entry. So you could spend 150 dollars in store, give them an extra 20 bucks, and then go play one of the courses, and you got three entries to win one of one of these amazing golf clubs. And then, you know, like everybody likes to do these days, throw throw some sort of goofy thing on social media where, uh, you know, tag me, tag three friends, and uh, take a selfie or something of, of yourself in front of this uh, for an, another chance to enter. Uh, or once, once you've played the course, once you've, uh, you know, whatever made your entry, share that you've made your entry and you get another bonus entry. So now you have four chances for people to come in with these amazing golf clubs. I know me, I'm not a golfer. I go in, probably play with somebody else's clubs. I'm like, oh my gosh, wow, I'm going to get my own golf clubs this year. It also has, you know, a wife that's maybe going into the store to buy her husband something, uh, you know, for Christmas. And she sees it, oh my gosh, I'm going to sign my husband up and me up for this. And potentially I'm going to win these clubs for him for Christmas because the announcement's going to be December 23rd. You'll be able to pick them up or maybe they'll be able to ship it to your house. Even if you're out of town, there it is. So maybe in, in the deal on the 22nd uh, or the raffle and uh, the winners will be announced. They'll be called, contacted, whatever. Then this stuff gets shipped out just in time for Christmas and it'll be gift wrapped for you. So I think this is a really cool, uh, you know, just thinking outside the box, somebody playing golf, come in, you get their information, you can market them down the road, even if even if they don't uh, win, you have their social media handles as well. So you could tag them in something, comment, uh, send them a message, tell them thank you for doing that. Uh, here's 10% off next time. Oh, you know, I actually am not from Phoenix. Uh, well, you know, next time you're in town, here's 15% off. You, like, you really start these interactions with different types of people, especially if you're a small business, um, that allow you to get in front of them, talk to them, build awareness about your business, and um, you know generate recognition for the brand. And whether people, uh, you know, even going to the store or not, they see this stuff shared. It's getting in front of them, right? Um, you know, somebody leaves the store, takes a selfie or something, is like, oh, you know, I'm, I entered this, talk to somebody else. It gets people talking, and and during a season where everybody's screaming for attention that could be a really cool way to to not only just get the attention that you want um, but garner more customers that could then experience uh, your business or your uh, uh, product or service down the road and then uh, inevitably continue to come back so um, though there's tons of ways that, that you know you can market during the holidays you don't have to do something cheesy you don't have to do something uh, super extravagant to get people's attention, super funny. Uh, you don't have to spend, you know, tens of thousands of dollars on ads, uh, even, um, you know, to, to get in front of them on, on favorite shows that they're watching or, or movies or sporting events during the holiday season, like bowl season and stuff. Um, you know, you could be real creative and, and put more money into the campaign, right? Maybe give something away. Maybe do a really uh, a really good video that's a little bit longer. Maybe do something that's educational. Um, whatever the case may be, you want to do something that's impactful, purposeful, um, and has intent behind it so that um, it's not just kind of one of those one-and-done campaigns, but it's fruitful and evergreen, and it continues to, uh, you know, help you gain traction for months and months to come. And this... This is one that I think, you know, I can see somebody playing on the course with new with new clubs, new bag, new gloves, all these things, and always remembering every single time they put those on, that store that they got them from. So, um, you know, that's an advocate for life. Uh, so how many touch points can we create with a purpose uh, in a short amount of time that's extremely valuable and different? Be purposeful with everything you do, guys, and always remember to pre-focus.